yeah, the new book is called Ten Reasons Not to Get Married. And what I wanted to do with this book is I wanted to look at marriage from an outside view. This book is not about convincing people to get married, how to better their marriages. Well, this book is totally about, it's about looking at it from a clear, concise, historical, point-for-point -point view about what is marriage, the history of marriage, the business of marriage, things that people just don't think about. Then there are like 10 reasons, clear reasons that people get married for it every single day. And then when they go through the process, they figure out they were not ready, there were underlying issues that were not addressed, and they didn't get ready for marriage in their own way. They got ready for marriage because of tradition. So it's not an anti-marriage book, it's a, um, it's a pro-marriage, but look at what you're doing before you jump into it. Exactly. It's, okay. it's all it's all about prevention. My whole concept with anything that I write, even with the manual of God to say Black Women Time and Energy, is about prevention. It's about developing a strategy. It's about developing a way of life to think about things, a process to think about things, especially something as serious as marriage, because usually people think about love as the key component. But the key component is you making a free will decision based off what you want specifically for your marriage and for your life. So it's a good book to get for people who are engaged and right before they have decided to do the job, they read the book, talk about it, and then go ahead and, and get married. Exactly. What I wanted to do with this book, I wanted to make sure that in the presentation, in the packaging, this is the book you give before people decide to get engaged, when they meet that special someone. This is the book you hand to them, and this is the perfect gift you give to them then, so that as they go through the process, they read the process, they understand the history of the ring, the difference between a vow, a promise, and a covenant. They understand that the business, more so than anything, dominates the culture of marriage, and how it came to evolve, and chronologically, the history of how love got involved with marriage, because love wasn't the key component of marriage. Even with Adam and Eve in the beginning, there was work to be done. The two coming together were to provide, not love, but to provide work and replenish the earth in a cooperative effort. And that's what's missing from today's society. With two people coming together, they're missing the work component that needs to be done.